Uh, I have owned Rioja since we built it five and a half years ago. So it's been one of my greatest achievements. Very happy about it. My inspiration to get started in this profession was probably selfish. I wanted to eat and eat well my whole life. So I decided that uh, maybe becoming a chef would be a good idea. And I just loved it. One of my greatest influences was definitely Wolfgang Puck. I worked for him for 11 years uh, all around the country um, and I got to actually work with him where maybe nowadays he's gotten so big he couldn't do that but um, it was really great inspiration to see how hard he worked and how much he loved it and his detail and everything. Rioja is best known for, that's a good question, um, I think the whole package deal. It's a great ambiance, it's a great location, has wonderful service, we have a beautiful wine list, and we have innovative food. So some of my favorite dishes on the menu are probably some of our classics because they've just been tried and over time and no matter now or five years later, people still love them. So the artichoke tortelloni is an artichoke filled pasta, it's an artichoke mousse and an artichoke broth uh, with little artichoke pieces and shaved queso de mano cheese. It's one of our signature dishes. It's a handmade pasta. I love making pasta. It is probably pasta itself is one of my most signature dishes. Um, and then I think the American lamb, the Colorado lamb that we do. We always have a Colorado lamb on the menu. The major influences on food are just seasonality. What is fresh? What is beautiful right now? What is just such great quality right now that you have to have on your menu? And what, what also eats well this time of year, you know? So if it's springtime, we're lightening up our menus. If it's winter, we're gonna have more braised meats and maybe the menu's heavier. Or maybe in the summer, we're gonna have more rosé wines. You know, things like that. I think that's what influences us. I also own our little, the best little French bistro in Denver, Bistro Vendome. It is just across the street from Rioja and Larimer Square, and we have great classic French cuisine over there, and just a tiny little cute atmosphere and this beautiful patio. So um, if you haven't seen Bistro Vendome, um, that's a great restaurant also, not just Rioja. And then we, my, my, myself and my business partner, Beth, we are in the midst of building our third restaurant, which will be called Euclid Hall Bar and Kitchen, and that will be on 14th Street between Market and Larimer, and that's going to be an American tavern. It's going to be lots of fun, more beer, kind of just a bit more cash, more masculine feel, where my other two restaurants are definitely feminine. Um, so I'm going to have a boy chef over there. It'll be good, you know. So uh, I first got involved with the um, work options for women, women cook event through John in Bergamo, who is the most wonderful, fabulous person ever. And he, um, he's like, you know, you guys are two women. Have you heard about this charity? And this was you know, a, ton, a long time ago, and it just was, what a perfect fit. Talk about something that we're passionate about, we're passionate about, you know, women being success in this world, and then we're passionate about helping our community, and then it has to do with teaching these, these young ladies how to cook, and also to give them the social skills to get out there in the world and, and have a job. It was a perfect fit for what we love. What advice would I share with aspiring chefs? Um, I would say you got to be ready to work hard, but I think that's any job that you want to be good at. You have to love what you do. Uh, this is a hard business, a lot of hours, you're on your feet a lot. You need to, you need to love it. You need to like have feeling for it, you know? But you get to create. You get to do something for immediate gratification for that person standing in front of you. And you can make them this beautiful meal, and they can have this great night, and it's right then and there, and you can really make that really nice positive impact on that evening, you know? Anyway, so I look forward to seeing everybody at Euclid Hall, or Bistro Vendome, or Rioja.